are you doing? Oh, there's one. There's two. Oh my goodness, what is happening over there? Come here. Dyla. Yikes. Crazy pups. Good job, Darla! Yay! Whoa! Archie! Hi, Arch! What you doing? <gasps> what you doing, buddy? Get over here! <gasps> what? Having a solo field trip. I'd want to stay out there, too. Where's the rest of those puppies? There they are! Yikes! All right, week two with Piper. We are um, still going to be working on, always working on our foundation skills, our touch and our name game. I use those a lot as kind of warm-up exercises for um, a puppy to get them sort of in the mode of thinking and working. So again, we're going to touch. Yes. Ask for touch. Yes. Very good. I can switch hands. Touch. Yes. Good job. We have a fan club behind us that makes it really hard to work, but she's doing a good job. Touch. Yes. Good. And again, we can work on name game. Piper. Yes. Okay, trying to get those rewards in before the dog offers any other behavior. Piper. Yes. Good job. Very nice. Always remembering to keep your treats either in your pockets hidden or slightly behind your back. Don't ever stand with your <coughs> treats out in front. All right. Touch. Touch. Yes. Very good. All right, our new um, foundation game that we're going to work on this week is called Reward Zone. And it is, Piper. it involves your dog sitting next to you, facing the same direction, okay? This is a precursor to um, teaching nice leash manners. Bop, 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 bop. And we are just introducing this. So again, bop, bop. hi. What we want is for that dog to learn to sit at our side and that they are going to have constant rewards right now if they hey, bop, 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 if they keep giving us attention. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to give you a quick little rundown of this before um, I do another demo. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a handful of treats to begin with. Okay, so let's say, I don't know, five, ten treats, more than five. Let's say ten. Okay, so I've got a handful of treats. It's going to be, my handful of treats is going to be in the side that's opposite the side that my dog is on. So right now, um, Piper's going to be on my left side. I'm going to have all these treats in my right side. I am going to have a leash attached to her right now, but it, I'm not going to be holding it. We're going to work up to that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one treat and I'm going to put it in my left hand. So remember, the dog is in my left. The treats that get delivered to the dog come from that same side hand. So left hand for rewarding the dog, dog is on the left. So I'm gonna show her this treat. I'm gonna lure her around to my side so she's a little bit behind my leg. And then I'm gonna pull her into a sit from my side, okay? So let me demo that one more time. Okay, good girl. So I'm just gonna take that treat, kind of just walk her around a little bit. Here we go. I'm gonna make sure that she's behind me and as she approaches my legs, I'm gonna pull that up into a sit. So we're basically toe to toe. That treat is on my hip and it slides straight down my pant leg. And I reload from that handful that's in my right hand, okay? And I want, she gives me that upward glance, immediately reload, uh-huh, uh -huh. So we haven't practiced this a lot. So so when she gets distracted, she's getting up and moving away. She's gonna learn, hi puppy, come on. I want her to be nice and straight, sitting next to me. <coughs> there you go. So reload, pop, pop. <coughs> right. Treats come right from my hip, straight down my pant leg. Hey, 
right here. Good girl. I want to try to deliver five treats in a row. Piper. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good girl. Very nice. So not more than five treats in a row right now. What I'm trying to accomplish in reward zone is to get the dog to learn to be at my side and give me eye contact. We do this in a stationary manner enough times that the dog starts to understand that when I start moving and adding walking to this, the, the skill is exactly the same thing. She's walking next to me, giving me eye contact, then kind of glancing around, giving me eye contact, but she's learned that this space is really good. This is the place where I want to be when I'm walking, okay? Piper, yes! Over here, girl. Good job. Okay, let's get back in this spot. Okay, sit. Very good. Okay, I'm holding the leash now. I'm holding that leash in the same. Uh -uh. Hi. So hard. So here's the scoop. Okay. You need to practice this. I mean, this clearly is really high level of distraction because I've got all the puppies around. Um, you need to practice this in an area where there's nothing else going on. In your living room, in your kitchen, wherever it can be where the distraction level is really low and the dog has nothing else to pay attention to. And remember, we're not adding walking to this right now. This is simply a stationary exercise. Um, we will move towards that in the next couple weeks. So the other foundation skill that we're going to work on is called collar grab. And we're going to combine this with the name game. All collar grab is is to get your puppy used to the fact that being captured or caught is really rewarding, okay? So, Piper, yes, good job. Okay, so as she approaches me, I'm gonna reach out, I'm gonna put my hand around that collar, hold onto it, and then deliver my treat, okay? So I wanna do this a bunch of times without name game, where all I'm doing is maybe just, hey, gotcha. We could add a little cue like gotcha, but I don't usually. I just kind of come in, grab, give a little tug, reward the dog. So treats stay hidden until my hand is on the collar. Touch. Oops, I said touch. This is a touch. Here we go. We're just pulling a little tug tug. Okay, eventually what should happen is when I put pressure, there you go. When I put pressure on her collar to, towards me, she wants to move in. Um, it's really common for dogs that when you reach out for them or try to grab a hold of them, they run away or they at least back away or pull away from you. That's just instinctual and we're trying to counter condition that behavior so that that dog sees that hand coming in and their desire is to move towards you and not away. So again, collar grab has no cue for it, but I can combine it with name game. Piper! She's super tired. Hi Piper, yes, good job. So hand on that collar, nice grab, and then deliver the treats. So those are two of the things we can add this week to your repertoire. The collar grab and reward zone. All right, have a great week. Okay, okay, we're done.